Ludwig van Beethoven was born on December 16, 1770 in Bonn, Germany. Beethoven's musical talent was obvious at a young age. His father Johann, who was his first musical teacher, wanted him to be a child prodigy, just like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart some 14 years earlier. Mozart was only five when he began composing and performing for European royalty. Johann wanted the same for his son. Beethoven's first public performance was at age seven, and his first composition was published at age 12. At age 13, Beethoven began working for the Royal Court of Bonn and Cologne, where he wrote his first three piano sonatas. At age 16, Beethoven traveled to Vienna for the first time, apparently in the hope of studying with Mozart. Some claim the two met and that Beethoven was able to perform for Mozart. There is no proof, however, that this meeting ever took place. Whether or not they actually met, after just two weeks in Vienna, Beethoven learned that his mother was severely ill and returned home to Bonn. His mother died shortly thereafter, and his father lapsed deep into alcoholism. As a result, Beethoven became responsible for the care of his two younger brothers, and he spent the next five years in Bonn. Beethoven moved to Vienna at the age of 21 to study with Joseph Haydn. Mozart had died a year earlier at the age of 35. Beethoven also studied with Antonio Salieri, who was the director of the Italian opera under the Habsburg court. A highly fictionalized depiction of Salieri was portrayed in the 1984 movie Amadeus. Beethoven eventually went on to become one of the most famous and influential composers of all time. His work includes nine symphonies, five works for soloist and orchestra, 11 concertos, 9 overtures and incidental music, 16 string quartets, 10 violin sonatas, 32 piano sonatas, 5 cello sonatas, 1 opera, a number of choral and vocal pieces, and numerous other short pieces for piano and various string and wind instruments. What sets him apart from other great composers is that he was a pivotal figure in the transition from the 18th century musical classicism to the 19th century romanticism. Great composers are the ones who can take a particular style of music to the next level. Beethoven took it a step further by influencing music to move away from the strict form and structure of classical music into the free-flowing, anything-goes approach that is the Romantic period. Perhaps, however, Beethoven is most famous for being able to compose some of the world's greatest masterpieces after going completely deaf. He began losing his hearing at the age of 26. He suffered from a ringing in his ears that made it hard for him to hear music. By the age of 41, he stopped performing in public. There is a well-attested story that at the end of the premiere of his famous Ninth Symphony, he had to be turned around to see the thunderous applause of the audience because he could not hear anything. Beethoven died at the age of 57, but his music lives on. Musicians today continue to play his music, even giving it a new sound with a modern twist. We had a chance to visit his childhood home at the Beethoven Museum, located in Bonn, where some of his instruments are on display. The museum contains a selection of more than 150 original documents from the time Beethoven spent in Bonn and Vienna. The museum also has a display of some of the hearing aids that he used.
visiting the museum, Sue and I had a chance to walk around the marketplace in Bonn located near the museum. <laughs> 